Welcome back to The Long Dark. Hopeless Rescue. Episode 5? One, two, three, four. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. 20 knot, dude, come on. Uh, got all the stuff. Got, I, I grabbed a few MREs, a couple of boxes of crackers from the Timberwolf Mountain after we scouted it. Carrying the bare necessities with me. I got the flare and all that garbage. You know, here's just blah, blah, blah. Clothing's okay. Didn't have a repair kit, so I couldn't do anything about that. Uh, no point standing around. I'm hoping in this episode that I can get all the way through Pleasant Valley, all the way through the coal mine, all the way through Coastal Highway, all the way through uh, blah, 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 Crumbling Highway, and then all the way to the lighthouse. All within 30, 40 minutes. Or two days, 18 hours, and 47 minutes as far as the game timer is concerned. I think I'm going to be fine. Here's some of the gear I left behind earlier. Sewing kits and stuff. I'll take a flare. Just because I used my last one on that wolf that was bugging me when I was trying to get down Timberwolf Mountain in the middle of the night in the snow. <clears throat> Okay, so if my brain is correct in assuming things, then I should be able to basically hug the whole left part of this map. Like this is this is the north part of the map. This is the e uh, west. That's east. That's south. So basically, the, this is this is the whole northern edge of the map. I need to hug that to get all the way to the Cinder Hills coal mine. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. And the moment I can get to um, the road, I'll know where I'm at exactly. But until then, it's a little iffy because I don't really be... I don't be running around in these places, okay? I don't actually, you know, I don't... This area is kind of desolate in here. You don't really have any reason to be going or coming from this direction. Unless you're, gosh dang, unless you're coming to Timberwolf Mountain in, you know, with that in mind. There are wolves everywhere. Okay, so this is the point of disagreement. That's good. I remember this place. There's probably nothing in any of these cars that I need. I need to go this way, but I don't know where that wolf went. He's stalking the deer. Probably gonna turn on me in a second. Okay, so there's the bridge. I'm really hoping I can climb this. Okay, good. It's 31 degrees. Come on. Could it not just get one degree warmer? <sighs> but as far as everything so far, I actually got pretty lucky. I'm not really worried about anything at this point. Everything that I was worried about fixed itself. I was worried about getting lost on the way up the mountain, which I did kind of, but I not really at all for like more than 10 seconds. I was worried about uh, not cutting open the right container to get uh, to get their distress pistol, which wasn't anything to be worried about because the distress pistol is sitting up there by itself in an open container that you don't even have to like cut open. And I was worried about something else, 
I think we're feel numb. But anyways, we're doing fine. I think there's a couple of cabins that used to be up this way, if I remember correctly. Or maybe there's not. I don't know. I'm doing really good though. Look, only I'm only carrying 38 pounds. I'm usually walking around carrying 65 or 70. So I'm I'm half as heavy as I normally am. I'm proud of that. Oh, there's the cabins. Oh, I thought that they were over here. Whoa, what the hell? It's just come on a blizzard out of nowhere. Game's trying to stop me. Wait, where is this? Oh, I know where this is. Okay. I think I need to go this way. I think. So cold. This just came up out of nowhere. And I can't get out of this area, really. I know if I travel this way long enough, I'm going to see the bridge. And that's what I'm looking for, because that's the bridge underneath the rural houses where the store is. And that's what I'm trying to get to. I need to find that bridge. And I have nothing to lose. This river eventually goes under that damn bridge. I know it does. Doesn't it? There it is. Yes, okay. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, the store is right up here. Thank God. I knew that I wasn't crazy. Whoo wee man. That weather. <laughs> hey, what about that weather outside? I know, right? Canada, eh? Clothing is all frozen and cold and I'm 15% chance of getting hypothermia. What sucks is that I can't um, cook. My anything. energy is just disappearing. I don't believe I. You can't. I can't start a fire. See, that sucks because I would love to be able to cook this coffee up now. But I can't. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat the rest of this MRE, maybe. Maybe not. Oh yeah, we did. Okay, good. Bring some water. And 
let's get about eight, let's get nine hours of sleep. Oh, perfect. We woke up right when the storm ended. It's going to be cold out probably, but that's fine. We're not going to be out in the cold long. There's still a little bit of sunlight too. I'd kill for the ability to cook this, to, to uh, cook this coffee up. That was almost bad for a second. <laughs> almost. If I had turned in the other direction when I was at that river, I was trying to figure out which way to go. And if I'd went the other way, we would have went all the way back to the river that goes behind that. Well, it's the same river. We would we would have went all the way back though to. Uh, to the. Uh, what do you call it? The farmhouse. There we go. I couldn't think of the name. <sighs> Stupid wolves. There's nothing here that I really need, is there? Fine, we'll sleep for an hour, I guess, just because the wolf is there. Maybe he'll leave us alone. Let's get out of here. He's probably still here. If I had to just guess, I'd say he's still in the area somewhere. Two days, six hours. Two days, six hours. So yeah, this is definitely not the quickest example of how to do this challenge, or probably the smartest, or the most, you know, proficient, because I know people have beaten it in like three days, like crazy mofos, um, but despite that, I still think I'm doing pretty damn good, considering this is my first time trying it. Well, that's not true. This is my... This is my second time trying this challenge. The first time I tried it, uh, I didn't even record it. Or I did, but I threw it away because I ended up dying because I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know how to climb ropes properly. And I ended up falling. Uh, it wasn't even on the last rope up the mountain. It was just like the second one. <laughs> um, I didn't realize then that the speed with which you climb is determined by how well rested you are. It doesn't matter if you aren't, you know, encumbered. That doesn't matter. What matters is how, just, just overall, how well rested you are. And the more well rested you are, the quicker you'll climb. So, that's what it's all about. Probably gonna run into a wolf here, man. It's it's so damn dark. I can hardly see where I'm going. Is it up that way? Well, I know I gotta hug this like I gotta hug the left side anyways. So we'll just do this and. But yeah, no, it's not there. It's. It's around this rock. It's just so damn dark, I can't see anything. These big-ass snowflakes are the size of, you know, half dollars. There we go. That's where I need to go, right up there. Is that a deer? 
It is. The deer is going to go to the coal mine with me. I think after this I'm going to try the other challenge, the archivist or archive, archivist? I think it's archivist. Either way, I'm going to try it. And I also suddenly realized how much I wish I hadn't ditched my lantern. There's probably an extra flare laying around here somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh well. I can't remember which way is a dead end and which way isn't, but we're just going to go right. Oh, good, we picked right. Well, I mean, I guess both of them would have worked, but I'm not going to get whatever goodies were over there. Not that I necessarily need them. The only thing I wish I had was running shoes. I think that would be the nicest, like, change to make. These trail boots are pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, the trail boots are good, but they're second to the running shoes. This case system is longer than I remember it being. We're going to come out above the road, kind of in the same area as the lookout tower, which I think I'll head towards, and then just go down from there and hop on the road. I believe that's how I'm going to do it. Oof. Or we may end up finding the road and just booking our butts to the uh, Quonset Garage. If the weather's going to be as nasty as this, I mean, I can keep the wind off of me if I hug the, uh, the left here. It's only going to be about, you know, probably 10 or so degrees once it stops dropping on me. If I get in that wind, I guarantee you it's, it's gonna, probably going to drop down to about zero. It's still falling. Seven. And that's without the wind chill. Look, the wind chill is only at negative five. Watch this. Well, maybe I shouldn't even bother testing it. I guarantee you the wind chill is negative 30. It's probably negative 60 something degrees right now. Probably gonna find out right here. 
negative 30, it, negative 31, negative 47. Oh my god. This is where, this is where, this is where people, this is where people die, right here. Okay, I'm just assuming I'm heading towards the road now. Common sense and an extensive knowledge of playing this one map over and over again leads me to believe I'm heading towards the highway. I should be heading towards the highway and as a result of that, towards the coastal town site. I should be. That is not good. Where are we? This, I know this map so exceptionally well. Just give me a one visual cue. Come on. Give me something. Good. You're a baby. I love it. All right, whatever. I'm pretty sure we're at the town, though. Yeah, we are. All right. I knew we were close. I'm going for the garage. I know there's painkillers in the garage, and this guy is such a bitch that he can't drop more than two feet without breaking a bone or an arm or a leg or something. It's really annoying. That's the... Oh, yeah. I could use this. I need painkillers, please. I guess we should just probably go to sleep or something. Two days, four hours. It's in the middle of the night. We could probably sleep until daylight <laughs> comes around. Eat an MRE just because why not? I've got so much food, it's stupid. Oh, I can make coffee now. I forgot about that. But I don't have an axe to break down. Anything for wood. There's a book. This stuff will come in handy. And how long could I get a fire to going with a book and four sticks? <laughs> can I make any? Looks like it works. Can I make any cups of coffee in 48 minutes? No cooking pots. Oh, of course. So. Oh, I didn't even eat all the fucking peaches because I... Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to bed. I don't even care. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Doesn't even matter. I think the game is coded to give you a blizzard basically every day now because you're running out of time and you've got you know you've got the end game in the palm of your hand. So it's at this point it's just like okay, blizzard every day. Make it hard on them. Make them fight to get to that lighthouse. Uh, which is which is cool. I understand that. It's whatever. 
<sighs> it's annoying, but I understand it. But I've got almost two days to travel a very small distance. I think I'm going to be alright. I just wish that I could have brewed some of that coffee. And I hear something. I, uh, yeah, there's a deer or a wolf or something over there. It sucks that I've got that tin of coffee and I can't do anything with it. I mean, I'm sure one of these houses would have had a cooking pot in it or something. Or I could have ate those peaches finally and got a cup out of it, but then I would have had to have gotten firewood. And, you know, that would have taken another two or three hours to cook and make. And It's, it's not going to be the end of the world, I guess. I don't have to sprint the whole way there. Had a couple of close calls though. I've, got, I've gotten caught out in two blizzards now in the middle of the night. Like that is the worst time to, to get caught in a blizzard. And it's pitch black and you can't see Jack in any direction. I got lucky seeing that sign like I did. And the only reason I didn't get lost last time in, in Pleasant Valley was because I was in the river and I had a 50-50 chance of guessing the right direction. Thirty-four. Alright. Well the good thing about me being so under underweight is that I can basically keep sprinting even until my fatigue even until my, even to the point, God, I can't fucking talk, where my little fatigue meter hits zero, basically, because it's not going to matter. I'm not going to get any slower. There's no point in not sprinting the rest of the way. Of course, you move a lot quicker on pavement than you do on anything else. So the more pavement you can walk on, the better. Almost there. Almost there. Got to go through Old Island Connector, Crumbling Highway. A quick little cave system. I think it's small anyway, from what I remember. I think this last episode is just going to be probably like an hour long. It's whatever. I don't care. Wolves? Where are they at? Come on. I know there's wolves in this area. Always are. Well, maybe I'm wrong. There's a rabbit.
Right. I don't think I can cheese my way over there. I gotta go around. <sighs> almost there. I keep saying it. Almost. 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 Get through this cave, then we'll be in Desolation Point. And then it's seriously just a couple of minutes till we get to the lighthouse. So, almost. Oh. Thought I had a. Are there any more flares laying around anywhere? Yeah. There it is. Good. It would have been annoying having to light a match every. I don't know what. 15 seconds. 10. Desolation point. Almost there. Need the flare anymore? Get out of here. We're gonna have over a whole day to spare, so we, you know, we're gonna have probably 36 hours extra, and that was with me spending like a whole, a whole another 24 hours in that, you know, in houses just preparing clothing. regret is that it's so damn overcast and hazy that we're not going to be able to have a very clear, pretty day to fire the flare off into. Ooh, there's wolf tracks, I think. You're not going to mind if I get into this car, are you? Aha! Too slow, you cunt. That was close. <laughs> Is he still there? I have no idea where that little wolf went off to. There he is. They are very aggressive, I've noticed. probably still gonna turn on me maybe well he definitely will if he turns around anyways man we were about a half a second away from actually having to deal with one wolf attack but otherwise this was a flawless flawless let's play or challenge for me no wolf attacks no bear attacks nothing 
I broke my wrist like five times and twisted my ankle another five times, but that was nothing, really. <sighs> One day, 16 hours. Yeah. 33 minutes to spare. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Let's head to the floor, or head to the top floor. Fire it off. Fire the distress pistol. All right. Very nice. All right, that's it. Helpless Rescue is done. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.